What's happening, y'all? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. Me and my buddy, we are putting both the 250Fs, which is now a 275 race, a 310 rally, up against the 250X. We're going to compare the 275 race with the 310 rally, see how they do together, and then we're going to go ahead and test the limits a little bit and put this 250X up against that 310 rally. Now that we finally have some good weather, we've got some trails, single track, uphill climbs, downhills, things like that. We're going to test it all. Stick with us. We're gonna do a practice lap before we get into uh, we're gonna actually we've got something mapped out for a mini race
Nope. Want to see a wheelie?
Yeah. But as soon as you hit that main trail, fucking dust. Yeah. I still saw you. I still kept up with you. Yeah. But it was probably about. <laughs> I could hear you. Yeah, I could hear you. Well, guys, we have officially concluded our ride. We have got probably a little over, what, eight hours yeah. or so into yeah. riding today, just straight riding with all three of these bikes. I will go ahead and say that before we do jump into the meat and potatoes of this, which you guys will want to hear, is that there is no clear first, second, or third place winner in this because every bike performed differently and each one performed better in certain areas. So it's gonna depend on what exactly you are looking for mm. in these bikes. So when it comes down to as far as the mods um, on these bikes and which one to go for, we're gonna jump into a little bit more in depth on which one is gonna suit your riding style. Yep. So anybody that doesn't know what we did just put to the test is we put to the test two 2023 CRF 250Fs, which this one over here is the big bore kit from Force Cam, the 275 race. And then we've got the other big bore kit from Force Cam, the 310 with the rally camshaft. And then we've got the 2024 Kawasaki KX250X, which is obviously a race bike um, just for your XC uh, race style. So we're trying to beat the sun going down. Never mind. No. Nope. It's gone. <laughs> All right. So jumping straight into this thing, y'all. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you, I was very impressed with the big differences that each bike had. I knew there was going to be differences, but I didn't think that every single bike was going to have their own strong suit. I thought that there was going to be one clear winner in all of it. Hmm. I was wrong. The very first showdown of the 275 race versus hmm. the 310 rally. Yes, the 310 has more power as far as horsepower wise. They're pretty equal. But what you've got to understand is, is that the 275 race is a little bit laggy in your power until you hit about 6,000 RPM. So if you're wanting that race bike punch, but you don't want the full, as quick of a throttle response as an actual race bike like the 250X um, or RX, whatever, um, then that may be the route that you want to go is something that you need to stay within about 6,000 plus RPMs for that power to really, really hit. Um, versus the 310 it was insane because y your the power, power the power is always there it doesn't matter what gear you're in you know yeah. it, it the power is insane it, it, it yeah was a, it was a lot of fun to get used to yeah um, so and i think with that it comes with the biggest noticeable thing with the 310 with the rally camshaft is is your stock 250f that power that's very linear the 310 has extremely linear power all throughout. There is no power band in it. Hmm. Like as far as one set, you know, RPM range that really just packs that punch and drives it home. It is all there all the time. Just like your 250F, your stock one, how the power is just there. It's whatever you give it. It's the same thing with that 310. It's yep. just, it's for somebody that loves your 250F platform mm -hmm. and you just want a little bit more power, but you want it distributed that same exact way. I right. think that's probably the best way to explain that right. is you want the power given the same exact way as a stock 250F. You just want a little bit more of it. And that 310 is going to give it to you with the rally camshaft. The yeah. race camshafts, you've got to be above 6,000 RPMs. Yep. You've got to for There's that thing more, to just take off. There's a lot more clutch play have, having to do with the with the race cam. I mean, getting yeah. the, making sure you're in that RPM band when you need it. Like it's a, uh, it takes a little bit more skill to get used to. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that's, that's probably the biggest, biggest thing for a lot of these riders out here is going to be realizing that your race camshaft, okay, you need to be a little bit more experienced rider with your clutch and how you, you know, manipulate the bike, load the clutch, going into turns, stuff like that. If you're wanting, as that's as far as, you know, your trails or even trail racing uh, or what have you, you definitely will want to keep that in mind with a rally camshaft versus the race camshaft. Mm -hmm. um, I was extremely impressed with the 310 rally. Um, putting obviously the 275 and the 310 up to each other. Um, the 310 obviously pulls straight from the dig off of the 275. Yeah, it just keeps <laughs> on going. It's just until that 275 can reach that full power band. The 275 race, it does. It's got the same power as far as horsepower mm -hmm. ratings on paper that the 310 rally has. 
but what I will tell you is, is that 310's power kicks in a little bit quicker. That 310, it's effortless to pick up the front of that bike. Uh, yep. As you saw in the videos, like it, it, <laughs> both the bikes can put the front end up pretty easily, but that 310, is, you can be in second and it's still pulling that front end up. Going from a 250 to a 310, that's a, that's a pretty big jump uh, yep. in the bike world, no matter how you look at it, regardless. And that's, that's the biggest difference, I, I think, as far as the 310 versus the Kawasaki is the the throttle response and the delivery of that power with the race bike it's instant like you're you touch you, you barely touch that throttle you can you saw in the videos how i was hitting the throttle and everything it, you barely touch it you're going uh, yeah. with the 310 you still have that that crf linear band it's just more power behind it so mm -hmm. and that actually brings us into our next point is is how did the 310 compare with the 250x the race bike mm -hmm. um so obviously the, we didn't put the 275 race up against the 250X. That's not even anywhere near the same ballpark of a comparison. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you, uh, it's just not. Yes, if you're more comfortable on a 250F than you are, say, a race bike, just mm -hmm. as far as throttle response, you like having a little bit more control, then obviously a 275 race is more your alley. Mm -hmm. uh, the 250X is more of a um, strap in, hold on, and just say a prayer. <laughs> um, I mean, that's kind of what it comes down to. Yeah. Um, the thing's just an absolute monster. And e even compared to, you know, you saw obviously the drags and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the first gear launch with the 250X is very rough because it's just so much power punch. You really don't want to launch, obviously, ever in first gear with a race bike. Mm -hmm. um, so, but once launching from second, um, it does. It, it straight pulls on the on the 310 yeah. it, it just does but the power that's the thing is is that 310 has that linear power we're talking about mm -hmm. okay so it's the so same I, exact type as the you, 250 you can keep up but the the kawasaki is definitely gonna pull on you at certain <laughs> points like you'll you'll be able to keep up there's yes. no doubt about that oh yeah but Th there's sections it will, it will pull on you yeah easily. there's sections that obviously you guys saw in in some of our our riding footage and stuff um that yes the 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 310 um yeah, it, it holds its own. So breaking down where each bike is good at, what is their pros, what is their cons. We will go ahead and start with the 275 with the race cam. If you're a little bit less experienced, you will not want to look for that race camshaft, okay? Because you want to be within that 6,000 to, you know, nine, 10, 12,000 RPM range with yep. this thing. And yes, when I say 12,000 and 10,000 RPMs, Yes, with the Athlon ECU, it unlocks the full potential of these bikes. Yeah. And it does give you your full RPM range on these things. So Force Cam has done an absolute amazing job with their kits and teaming up as far as with Athlon and what they offer and being able to unlock with these bikes, it's insane. Mm -hmm. So that is the con as far as with the 275 race. You need to stay high in the RPMs. You have really a lot of laggy power down low. Um, the pros of it is, is that when you do hit that sweet spot in the band, mm -hmm. it bolts. It oh, yeah. will. Oh, yeah. it, it'll bolt and you do. You need to hold on to it because it does. It acts as a race bike. Yeah. It just is not as instant as a race bike where yeah. a race bike is just you barely crack the throttle and it's always there. The, the 275 has the power on tap when you're in the RPM range, but it's forgiving. It's, yes. it's not like a race bike where if you do something wrong, you might end up in a tree. I'll let Carrie take the reins on the 310 and I'll piggyback off of that as well. Yeah, so uh, as, far the as, the, as far as the 310 is concerned, I mean, taking it out there and actually opening it up today, uh, it, it felt great. Uh, at no point in time did I think that, you know, man, I wish I had a little bit more. <laughs> well, what it gave me was more than enough uh, as far as the handling of it, especially in the single track. It, it's so much better, uh, especially on the hill climbs, things of that nature. It, you're not really having to pin the engine down or get the RPMs up to climb a hill. With that rally cam, uh, you know, it's it's still a tractor. It's still uh, a namesake, a CRF. Like, yeah. it, you're not gonna get stuck. I mean, we went through 
a huge mud pit today that, I mean, it, it just tractored through it just fine. Even when we were just regularly riding out there, uh, like you guys saw when obviously I flamed out the Kawasaki and he was gone. And I tried my damnedest to catch up to him. And I think out of a, a 10 second stall, 13 second overall, getting back up and going, um, I could only make up five seconds. Yeah. That's all I could make up on him. So it just shows how valuable 10 seconds is right there, 10 to 13 seconds, because yeah. with that 310, yes, you and can that, absolutely hold your own. Yeah, and, that, and that's the biggest thing is uh, when we did our last buddy race and everything, that's what I found to be an issue is I was doing perfectly fine going th through the single tracks, keeping up with all the other riders on their race bikes, so on and so forth. But as soon as we got open ground to play, they were gone. They were, yeah. I was in the dust, I was just trying to catch up. And now and, that's not an issue. Yeah, now so. that's not gonna be an issue. I feel like I'll be able to really hold my own on the straightaways. We'll go ahead and say honestly, um, because I didn't hear Carrie mention a con yet. Um, I really can't think of one um, as far <clears throat> as a con for it. Um, I mean, the only con that I have right now is I feel like it's too much power, but that's just because I haven't gotten fully used to it as far as uh, really handling handling it in the single track more. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> too much power is never a bad thing. Uh, it's just getting used to the bike again is definitely going to be a must for anybody who decides to go with the 310 big bore. Uh, but again, my, my words that I love is it is manageable power though. Uh, yeah. So if you don't want it, yeah. you don't need to have it and you can still tractor up things because it kept the exact same linear power as the original CRF 250F, which will then bring me into the 250X, which yes, we will go ahead and talk about as well. Uh, it, it's an absolute monster. Um, it, it, it's a race bike. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a race yeah, bike. Yeah, it anyway, is. Man. There's not much more you can say. Yeah, and, and going from my KX450 that I had uh, back in, let's see, 2012, it was a 2010 model, but uh, I will say that Kawasaki's made a lot of improvements to their stuff, but these X models for the XC racing and all is just a totally different animal. This KYB suspension is just absolutely amazing there for, as far as the front forks go. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't say enough good things about this thing. And of course it's weight coming in at 229. Yeah. I mean, that is absolutely insane. If you haven't done anything to your suspension yet, don't do anything with the your engine. Get your suspension dialed in and then add more power. Because adding yes. more power to the suspension that it has yes. is, is not going to be a good Yes, time. and many of you guys are on a lot of these CRF pages as well, like on Facebook and stuff. You guys follow a lot of other, uh, you know, subscribe to other channels and stuff. Um, and that is a big thing is what is one of the number one things people mention. A lot of people always ask the same exact questions of what should I do first? Well, your suspension, number one. Mm -hmm. um, well, and that's, I, I will say that's probably 1.5. Uh, number one is just go ride, man. Have fun. Yeah. Um, figure out, learn your bike. It's not as easy as just taking this thing off a showroom floor and being like, okay, this is exactly what I need to do. Yeah. No, you need to ride it first to know where you want to put your money into it. Yeah. That's why we've made these videos, y'all, is to show you guys the differences that this stuff makes, how to do it, and things like that. So, and to give you these little bit longer, yes, I get it, drawn out kind of reviews, but we're trying to help you guys and some of the ones that are, you know, maybe new to the game or you don't want to go spend the money on a race bike. Well, you don't need to. So different than what I did. I mean, this is my first bike. Yeah, very first like, bike. Very is, first bike. Yep. I just started riding consistently uh, all the time. So, I mean, I spent time just getting used to the bike. And yep. then once I got used to the bike, then I thought about, hmm, what can I change to make it my own? Yeah. And then once I got the suspension dialed in and I was floating through the single track, having a good time on the trails, then I wanted more power. Yeah. And that's what I did. With the 250Xs jumping in, I'll give you guys the pros and the cons real quick on that as well. Um, just so you guys know from a race bike standpoint, what those are. And <clears throat> the pros are, um, well, the suspension I already talked about, the weight, um, the power, <laughs> I mean, those are all just pros depending on how you look at it. I took the bike around earlier is when I was going through that downhill turnaround section back yeah. there, there was no engine brake on. <laughs> yeah, there, there really is not much of an engine brake on this thing. And it's just, uh, it's something to get used to because you also have the power at your fingertips that is just instant too. I mean, just the yeah, I mean, flick of the throttle you, and it goes. You don't even got to twist it, you can just tap it. 
you just tap the throttle and it'll rev up. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It, it is an absolute monster. Uh, super pumped to be on uh, on this thing for this race season. But mm -hmm. um, all in all, guys, we had an absolute blast. Eight hours of riding. I know you guys did not get to see all eight hours. Obviously, that wasn't the whole point of this video. Um, but we did want to give you guys kind of what what the outcome is as far as a 275, whether it be a race or a rally. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you can get the rally camshaft in this from Force Cam, okay? And the 310, race or rally, um, which obviously carries has the rally camshaft. Mm -hmm. So now you guys know as far as the difference is, I hope this helps some of you guys out and what you guys are choosing. Please make sure to go check out, if you guys just want to end up window shopping, hit these guys up with any questions. Uh, go hit up Force Cam. All the links are in the description. I appreciate these guys uh, for all the help and support and love that they've shown the channel and all uh, everything that they do for you guys as well. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here. You know I always answer you guys. I try to get back to you guys as quick as possible. Yeah, it, it, build your bike for you, man. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't listen to anybody that wants to be a Debbie Downer. It's your money, it's your bike. And we are not done with the CRF content. We've got a lot of stuff coming at you guys. Uh, we're gonna be going to Highland Park in Georgia mm -hmm. as well here soon. Uh, regardless, guys, I appreciate you as always. Hope this helped. Uh, please be a friend, tell a friend, like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next go-round. Mm -hmm.